Hey guys, how are we doing? Very well. In today's video, I'm going to talk about something that has been requested before. It may be something you've seen floating about on Instagram, or you may have seen it in my Facebook group if you're a part of that. Basically, what I'm going to talk about today is a flash event that is like international. It's quite a big flash event. It's taken off by storm. I'm very proud of the ladies that have organised this. It's just such a cool movement. I'm glad that tattoos are doing good within the world again. I've made a couple of videos in the past where tattoos have done good. So what I'm going to be talking about in today's video is a flash event called Still Not Asking For It. Um, I'm going to do a little trigger warning just in case. This is a flash event to raise money for um, rape victims and um, people that have been assaulted and stuff like that. So I thought I'd do a little trigger warning for you there. I'm not going to be talking too in depth about that. Um, there's going to be no like gory details or anything like that. So I thought I'd let you know anyway just in case. I don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable while watching this video. Um, but it's not going to be too heavy handed. So I've been following the Instagram account to do with this flash event for quite a while now. Uh, I'm not even sure how I come across it or when I come across it but I know I've been following it for quite a while now and I've wanted to do a video on it for a while and um, I finally plucked up the courage to message the account I think it was back in April and I asked if I could have any more information and Ashley one of the creators of the flash event uh, sent me over some info through email and stuff like that so now's my time to make a video on it and um, the next flash event is actually June 10th so it's this Sunday I believe. Uh, I know some people in my Facebook group are going to some of the flash events um, but I'll talk more in depth about how you can find out about the flash events near you and stuff like that in a moment. Um, but let's talk about how it all come about to start off with. So still not asking for it as a tattoo flash event. If you've never been to one before, never heard of one before, uh, you may have heard me or other YouTubers or other people that talk about tattoos talk about uh, flash events and it's basically a day where a tattoo studio dedicates you know the whole studio to just flash tattoos so you don't book in or anything like that for the most part I think some studios do allow bookings but for the most part when it comes to flash events uh, you basically just turn up on the day you pick a tattoo from a flash sheet and yeah you just pay for it and then the money will go to a charity this is what still not asking for it is doing um, I've partaked in one charity flash day myself not the still not asking for it one but I've done one for the charity mind which deals with mental health um, it was for Keely Rutherford she did one in honor of her mum I got the cat lady face tattoo that's in the back of my ankle um, but I imagine it all works the same way you kind of go on the day you pick the tattoo and the tattoo wise that you want to be doing the tattoo and then you just pay the money and the money goes to a good cause so that's what a charity flash tattoo day is. It's a bit of a mouthful. I never know what way to word that. <laughs> so this all started in America but it's now pretty much international. There's other countries taking part in this which is absolutely amazing. Especially as rape and abuse and all that happens not just in America. It is, you know, unfortunately worldwide. Um, many people are affected by it. So it's good that this flash event has taken off and there's so many tattoo artists that want to be a part of this. Um, it's honestly very heartwarming. So all the money raised from each studio that is taking part in Still Not Asking For a Tattoo Flash event will go to local and national organisations dedicated to prevention, recovery and, and justice for sexual assault and rape recovery. On June 10th there will be more than 40 tattoo studios taking part in this event. I'm just going to read a little section here from the information that Ashley sent over to me. She said, the tattoo world is uniting and standing up to say that we've heard enough, we've seen enough, we've had enough. Which I absolutely love that so, so much. I just think it's so cool how tattoo artists are volunteering their time, especially on a Sunday. I don't know of many tattoo studios that are open on Sundays. Well, there is a few, obviously. Yeah, they're giving up their Sundays um, and they're also not getting paid for this event also, if you think about it, because all the money is going to a charity, which is awesome. And I've said it so many times before, but tattoo artists get such a bad rep. Well, not all the time, but there's a lot of people out there that think tattoo artists are like delinquents and they're thugs and all they do is scar people for life and they're no good in this world but in actual fact if you think of how many charity flash events there are daily or weekly you know in your favorite tattoo studios around the world they do so much for charity and a lot more than other people do you know I'm not shaming everyone but there's a lot of good in tattoos and 
I don't know, it just warms my heart. And there's another thing that Ashley has said, there's a quote here from her. I don't want anyone to have the pain of sexual assault or rape. This is obviously a huge issue which will take time to overcome, but as a community we can prevent people from the expanded pain of not feeling the urgency, recognition or support they deserve. That's yeah. But yeah, Still Not Asking For It was founded by Ashley Love, who is a very, very talented tattoo artist. I'm a big fan of her work. Her work is very clean and bold and just everything you need within a good tattoo. It was also founded by Jessica Pillar in 2015. It was set up because Ashley went through something. Um, I didn't get much detail on that, um, but it doesn't matter. We don't need to know. Um, but it was started because Ashley went through something. And she said that she was baffled that there was a lack of support within her community. And she wanted to create, still not asking for it, to, you know be loud and proud and say hey we need to do something about this since still not asking for it tattoo flash event started they have raised get this they have raised ninety seven thousand dollars could you imagine that all these tattoo artists coming together and doing these flash events and creating things for this flash event because there's also like merch and t-shirts and stuff like tattoo studios will create their own little like sale table this is what happened when i went to the charity flash event for keely rutherford there was like this table full of stuff you could buy and then that money would also go to the charity so you don't have to get a tattoo i'm sure i can't say for every single tattoo studio but they will have other things for sale and um, people will volunteer it, their artwork or you know make some cakes or whatever and you can buy those and that money can go to the charities also again it might not be every studio but i think it is like a running theme uh, where if you can't really afford you know a hundred dollar tattoo or two hundred dollar tattoo or a hundred pound or two hundred pound or whatever you can still take part in a little bit and buy a cupcake or something or a t-shirt that's really cool also so all of that money and all of those tattoo artists and all of those volunteers volunteering their time has raised $97,000 to help sexual assault victims and rape victims and if that isn't heartwarming I, I don't know what is. I'm going to read this little paragraph also that I want to do word for word because I think it's worded so nicely. Not only do these events benefit survivors monetarily, I can't say that word, monetarily, monetarily, you guys know me, I can't say things properly all the time, um, but they also contribute the healing journey that many clients are on getting tattooed is a popular means of reclaiming one's body the experience can be extremely liberating and satisfying these event days are overflowing with love and positive vibes yes i love that so much like i know of people that have got tattooed to say hey this is my body i'm claiming it back this is mine like don't you dare try and try and take over me type thing like i will not let this person that's been abusing me or who has raped me make me feel a certain way about my body and tattooing is a fantastic way to claim back your body you know decorate it how you want turn those bad horrible memories into something good and positive and oh, there's just so like i get goosebumps you ain't gonna be able to see from there but i get goosebumps just talking about stuff like this because there's so much good within tattooing i know i've already said that like 300 times in this video but it's just so cool and there's also a quote here from ashley it says after past experiences that left me battling with my own body. This was an opportunity to reclaim myself. I now have a beautiful piece of art that reminds me I have control over my body and how I view myself. So if you're interested in going to one of these still not asking for a tattoo flash events, there is information on their website that I will link down below and there's a list of tattoo studios that are partaking in this event. Again, it's on June 10th. Again, with most tattoo flash events, you kind of just turn up on the day you don't need to book. But if you see a tattoo studio on that list that's near you or one that you can travel to, visit that tattoo studio's Instagram page and I'm sure there'll be information on there, like a post or something, and it'll tell you the information like the opening dates and whether they're going to have any extras you know like cupcakes or merch or pins or art pieces so if you still want to take part in it and you know obviously help a charity out but you can't really afford to get a tattoo at the moment you can still maybe get a cupcake like i was saying before or a pin or or some artwork or something i'm also going to leave any relative links down below also that you guys can check out on the instagram page and ashley's page also it'd be awesome to see if any of you guys go to it let me know your thoughts and opinions on this also a massive thank you to Ashley and Jessica for creating this organisation and doing good in the tattoo community. And I hope that everyone
one that goes to a still not asking for it tattoo flash event has a wonderful day i unfortunately can't go to any but i hope you guys have just like a ball and it's a good day and you raise so much money um maybe i'll do an update video and see how much they've raised on june 10th and then you know keep you guys updated if you guys are interested in something like that and then maybe if you guys go to one of these events if you guys can send me your tattoo like your tattoo pictures or the stuff that you brought from a studio that's doing a still not asking for a tattoo flash event i can flag it all up in one video and we can just talk about it and maybe talk about your guys' experiences you know keep this ball rolling i know that they're going to be doing more events yeah i think that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this video again thank you to ashley and jessica for sending over the information and just creating something so awesome so yeah until my next video i hope you guys are all doing very well and until then bye